Christmas story, the musical. And um, Paper Mill called me in for this role um, because I've known them for a couple years. And um, I met the director and I met the choreographer and in that audition process. And then I was called about a couple days later and uh, they offered me the role. And that was basically it. So it was a lot of fun. Did you get to sing for Benj and Justin? No, but I actually did meet them last year because I did this on the first national tour. Now, what performances do you get to do? I get to do every night, and then I also get to do uh, Saturday matinee. I get six out of eight a week. Okay. And tell us your name and who you are. I'm Judah, and I'm the other Ralphie. And how did you get this role? Well, my um, I actually auditioned for the national tour that came out after his tour and I got declined for that one so then my manager called me in for the audition for the paper mail and after um, when I got that call was super super excited because like um, I wanted to play Ralphie again because um, I've actually I played the role before down in a um, hometown community uh, community theater down where I live in Sarasota Florida and so um, when I auditioned it was it was a, actually a pretty short audition process, consider, comparing it to the national tour auditions. I got a call about a week later, um, and um, when I found out, I was super stoked because it was my first, because it's my first professional gig ever. So, like, yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite song to sing in this show? Oh, oh, geez, to sing Red Rider, but to do in general is Ralphie to the Rescue. Um, I would have to say about the same. I mean, Robbie the Rescue, there's so many elements of the number. Yeah. Every single person in the cast is in it, and there's always different situations set and moving. set pieces. It's so crazy. It's the craziest number in the show. Yeah, but it's Everyone awesome. will love that number. And I think, I, think, um, I think Red Rider would be one of my favorite songs because that's the first time that Ralphie sees. You find sees out that he's the main character. You, you finally, Ralphie is the first. It's the first time that Ralphie sees what, in he person, needs. what he wants in what he wants for Christmas. I mean, he, he's dreamed about it and seen it on the back pages of, like, magazines and stuff, yeah. but this is the first time he sees it in person. I am Hudson Levero. I'm eight years old, and I will be playing Randy. And what was your audition process like? Well, um, I think I, uh, I uh, so I did the audition, and I feel, felt like it, it did, uh, I, w I did really well, but um, I went in for the callback, and I messed up on the uh, on the added song, but I did uh, good on the other one. So I, I um, so and then so I was like I was I, I wasn't like giving up. I was hoping they'd give me another callback, but I got it right after, and like, <laughs> like it was it was actually pretty funny because I was just sitting on the couch, and then my mom was looking through her email. She was like, "Oh my gosh!" And I'm like, "What?" And then I look, and it says, "Congratulations, that's in you got in a Christmas story." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> so it was actually pretty exciting. Now, one of my best friends is one of the producers of this show, the Broadway version, and Seattle. Every Randy that I have known has wanted to grow up to be a Ralphie. Are you waiting to grow up to be a Ralphie? 
well, I mean, I'm seeing these guys, and I'm like, you know, you, they're amazing, and I, and I just want to be like that, so yeah, yeah. And the girl decided to say, oh, Ruffy, when you're big and brave like me, no bully can never be fun. My mom is crying, how I Ruffy? While my dad is yelling, that boy, he's a man. I'm Ted Coach. I'm playing Gene Shepard. What do you hope people bring away from this show? Oh, I hope that people take away that it's, you know, family is messy and Christmas time can be messy and things aren't always perfect. But in the long run, it's our memories and our time together that count. Ed Holden. And Danette, tell us who you're playing. I play Miss Shields, the teacher. And what did you have to do for the, your audition for this role? Oh, so, so much fun this audition. I tapped because she's a very big tap dancer, and so are the children. Um, you guys will be very thrilled. Um, those children are adorable. Um, and lots of lots of outrageous character stuff. And it's, she's a pretty fantastic character. And what did you hope that people will take away from this musical? Oh, my gosh. I, there's no way to not be touched from this. this is, it's such a beautiful piece. Um, I think you'll be in the spirit of Christmas and the holiday season. It's such a beautiful, beautiful musical. It's My name's Elena Shadow and I'm playing the mother. And tell us what you want people to take away from this show. Uh, I think a sense of, of joy and of hope um, in, in the family and in, in um, leave them with a good sense of holiday cheer I think yeah and what did you have to do to get this role um, I was actually offered the role uh, by Mark Hobie and Brandon Ivy the director uh, I just received a phone call downstage big brass front page first class clear cut red hot look what I got a award he won a major award Chris Hoke, and I play the old man. And can you tell us what you did for your audition for this show? Uh, I did uh, one of the uh, uh, pieces from the show, not the one that was in today, but uh, the first number he sings, called uh, The Genius on Cleveland Street. And what made you want to do this role? Oh, I love the movie. I do, uh, you know, I'm one of those people who watches the movie every year, and, uh, and I thought it was just kind of interesting to uh, kind of match the movie with uh, the score and see if, you know, try to make like a, a character out of those kind of somewhat different pieces. Yeah. And what would you like the audiences to take away from the show? Well, I'd hope they'd have a good time, at the very least. Uh, if not, then we've, we're not doing our jobs. Uh, but no, I hope that uh, it seems also to be a, a, also a, not only like a, a holiday story, but also a great kind of uh, father-son story. And, uh, and uh, hopefully they'll take away... Uh, that and be touched by that a little. I'm Brandon Ivey and I'm the director. Now you worked on the original show as well, didn't you? I did, yeah. I worked on it in Seattle before it came to Broadway and then I was the uh, associate director on Broadway and the tour right after that. What do you hope that audiences take away from this show? Uh, I mean, just a sense of family. Like, I don't think that it has any kind of specific uh, religious connotations. Like, I, I think that anybody's going to love the show, whether they celebrate Christmas or not. Um, but what I really think, it's, it's about a father and son and a family and sort of growing up and what that means in, in the family dynamic. And um, it's really about this time of year and spending it with the people that you love.